In this video, I am going to show you how you can install Orca 2 13 billion from Microsoft on your Windows system. You can either use your own local laptop if it has plenty of RAM and a GPU, or you can use any cloud based virtual machine such as EC2 instance on AWS. Now, before I show you how to install it, let me give you a quick overview of what exactly this new model is. Orca 2 13 million is really making quite a lot of ripples on the leaderboard on Hugging Face and also among the AI engineers. Orca 2 is a fine tuned version of Llama 2. Orca 2's training data is a synthetic data set that was created to enhance a small model reasoning abilities. All synthetic data was moderated using the Microsoft Azure's content filters. You can also read further details on Orca 2's paper and let me quickly show you that too. This is a paper on your screen and remember that Orca 2 is built for research purposes only and provides a single turn response in tasks such as reasoning over user given data, reading comprehension, math problem solving and text summarization. The model is designed to excel particularly in reasoning. And I will also show you an example after we get it installed. So this is a research model intended to show that we can use capable models and complex workflows such as advanced prompt, multiple calls to create synthetic data that can teach small language models or SLMs new capabilities. We also chose reasoning because it is widely used capability that SLM lack. The model is not really optimized for chat and has not been trained with RLHF or human uh, reinforcement learning with human feedback or DPO. It is best used after being fine tuned for chat or for a specific task. Beyond reasoning, the model inherits capabilities and limitation of its base LAMA2 model. The researchers of this model have already seen that benefits of the ORCA training can be applied to other base model too. The good thing is that Orca 2's weights are publicly available to support further research on the development, evaluation and alignment of this SLM. So again, the main purpose of this model is to allow the research community to assess its abilities and provide a foundation for building better frontier models. Okay, now, you can read further on this paper as there is a lot of other detail as how it has been trained and all that stuff uh, and with a few of the prompts. I will drop the link in the description. For this video, let me show you how you can install it. The tool I'm going to use for this purpose is called as LM Studio. If you don't know what is LM Studio, then I'll drop the link in the description where you can read further about it and you can know how to install it locally on your Windows system. I already have installed it. Now, in order to install the Orca model, go to the home page, click on this home button on the left hand side and then simply write Orca 2 here. And then there you go. We'll be using blokes quantized version for it. So GGUF file and on the right hand side, you can see that it has various quantized versions of this file. Let's check out the Q5KS and then you can download it from here. I already have downloaded it. In order to download, all you need to do is to click on this download button. As on the bottom section, you can see that I already downloaded it. To check the file, click on this folder icon and you will see that file here. Let me, sometimes it doesn't appear here, so you just have to refresh it or maybe you can just simply restart LM Studio. So let me do that. So I have closed and opened this LM Studio again. Now click on this folder icon and you can see that the model is here and it says it should work. Okay, now in order to use it, just click on these three dots, select the model to load and select this Orca 2. It is loading. While it happens, keep an eye on the top left to see the memory and resource consumption of your model. Let it, let's wait for it to download. It is downloaded. Just drag it down a bit so that we can chat with this model. So let's first give it the first prompt. I'm asking it, what is the capital of Australia? It's not a reasoning question. Let me do a reasoning one after this. This is just to warm up the model that how it goes. 
let's wait for it to come back the model has returned the response which is spot on the canberra is the capital of australia very nice and now let me give it a reasoning question here so i'm asking it in one year yellow paint fades and becomes a white color in my house in one room one wall is yellow and rest of the walls are white should i paint that yellow wall as white now or wait for one year so that it fades into white now this is this will require some thinking some reasoning on the part of llm or slm in this case let's see what it does as a response let's wait for it to come back and remember that this inference speed will depend upon what sort of hardware you are using because it's a local system so with one gpu so i'm not really expecting it to blow out of proportion and also remember that it is a quantized version not a big one okay so it has started putting out the response which is a bit slow so i will let it load fully one thing i like about this model is that the responses are quite to the point and very compact and there you go it has already sensed that i want the walls white and then it is recommending me to paint the yellow wall white now and then very spot on where it says that that way we can maintain the consistent appearance of our room so really i think to those point answer the reasoning is quite well i would say now let's ask it one more reasoning question so i'm asking it how to climb the k2 mountain in pakistan now it needs to reason as what is the best and proper way of doing it so let's say how the model goes about it let's wait for it to finish producing the response there you go model is really uh, chugging along and spewing out the response in a quite a nice way i would say because all the steps are spot on and because you can see that it is just telling us the, all the perils and the challenges associated with k2 and it is alluding to the fact that doing the k2 is more uh, challenging than mount everest and all the rest of the famous peaks because k2 is a different piece to climb and then it is suggesting to build physical fitness learn technical skills and then do the proper preparation because uh, all this pre work and the preparation is key to successfully climbing this mountain also then it is just giving us uh, all the climatization and expedition team suggestions and then so on and so forth so i'll stop generating it but you can already see that the model is really responsive and the reasoning is really of very high quality now having said that there are few things or i would say uh, deficiencies with this model for example orca 2 demonstrates variance in performance depending on the system instructions also orca 2 was trained on data that mostly simulate zero shot setting while the model demonstrate very strong performance in zero shot settings it doesn't show the same gains of using few shot learning compared to the larger model models and remember that orca 2 has been trained on synthetic data so that it could inherit both the advantages and shortcomings of the models and methods used for data generation now as i mentioned earlier just to make sure that we understand model is solely designed for research setting and its testing has only been carried out in some of the research environments so shouldn't be this model shouldn't be used in downstream applications because you would need additional analysis to assess all the potential harms or biases in the proposed application so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed learning about this model i am very impressed um, with this model and especially the size of it and the performance around reasoning i believe this model is also available in 7 billion um size so maybe give it also a try if you want more compact model i might also do another video on as how to install and do the reasoning with the 7 billion one too if you have any questions or thoughts please share them in the comments and of course if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much